jeez. Oh, it is one thing to social distance in real life, but this is ridiculous. Trust me, anxiety. After this is over, we can all go back to Imagination Station or wherever else we want. But right now, we have a job to do. Don't we always? Procrastination, did I ask for your opinion? No, you definitely didn't. Hey, Memory, did I ask for your opinion? Uh, hey, uh, everyone, did you notice that we only have an hour for our exam? Hello? Yes, we noticed. Thank you. Let's get to work then. Okay, detailed notes? Check. Healthy breakfast? Check. Good night's sleep? Unfortunately, check. All right, is everyone ready then? No, 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 wait, just wait. Do we have to do this now? Are you ready, Focus? Yes, I am. All right, and start. Question 12. According to Eisenstein, which of the following is the foundation of film art? A, montage, B, cinematography, C, territorial space, or D, none of the above? Baby, light up my world like nobody else. The way that you flip your hair gets me overwhelmed. Oh, when you smile at the ground, it ain't hard. Procrastination? So you don't. Procrastination, stop singing that. What's the name of this song? That can wait. Please just stop singing for a minute and focus on Eisenstein. But it's gonna bug me. Uh, hey, memory, a little help? Uh, yeah, it's, uh... What makes you beautiful? Oh, wait, memory, don't encourage me. Oh, man, that. that was our jam growing up. Baby, you light up my world oh, like nobody oh else. The way that you flip your hair. Here we go again. Oh, when you smile at the ground. And okay, question 35. Write a few sentences on the differences between realist and formalist filmmaking. One example of each type of movie. Uh, so basically, realists make movies that look as much like real life as possible, and formalists are more about style. So a formalist movie would be The Seventh Seal. That's the one with death playing checkers, right? Chess, actually, and a realist movie. It was checkers in the cartoon we saw. Yes, but that was a parody. As I was saying. <laughs> Man, the Animaniacs were hilarious. What was the name of that one episode? Meatloaf something. Uh... Meatballs or consequences. And if you don't mind. <laughs> yeah, and Pinky and the Brain was good too. And Tiny Toons and... Will you shut up? Jeez, jeez, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, Memory. You were saying realist films? Right. A realist movie would be, um... Um, what? Okay, uh, don't be mad, but I don't have one here. What? What? I didn't catch it. That was the day procrastination hit the snooze button and we logged onto the lecture late. We have 15 yeah. minutes. Okay, okay. Gonna be okay. That just means we have 15 minutes to figure out a solution, right? Do we have the option to Google the answer? Not on lockdown browser, no. Okay, okay. Let's just contact the professor, get on the same page, and put the computer away for a bit. What part of 15 minutes did you not understand? Anxiety, you need to calm down. You know, that sounds like a lovely idea. I mean, why didn't I think of that? We always give the best advice for procrastination. This is like the time when you left our term paper in history class to the last minute because we can totally find everything we need in JSTOR. It'll be like two seconds. That's what JSTOR is for. I wouldn't usually say this, but anxiety might be right. 
You've been a complete pain in the neck since we started college. Since the pandemic hit, you've only gotten worse. It's like you want us to fail. Do you know how much extra work you give anxiety in me? Do you know how infuriating that is sometimes? You want to talk about extra work? How close are you guys to burning out? Memory, you lost track of the date for practically all of August. I'd ask if you remember doing that, but who am I kidding? Focus, we've been in quarantine for over half a year now. How are you still even here? I'll tell you now. Me. Letting me take over sometimes is the only way you guys stay motivated enough to actually do your jobs. If you're going to be mad at anyone, be mad at anxiety for making such a big deal over it. Oh, it's my job to make a big deal about things. Yeah, but it's not healthy. You just spin around in circles without thinking of an actual solution, and then get mad when focus and memory can't pick up the slack. If you would control yourself more, I wouldn't have to spin. <laughs> but you would anyway, and you know it. That's actually a pretty good point. All of those notes that I have about embarrassing moments and trying not to cry in class, those are all there because you made me write them in. I could have been spending that time paying better attention to conversations or taking time off during the sleep cycle. But did I? No, because I was busy filing your paperwork. Maybe procrastination is partly right. I mean, we can't avoid our responsibilities forever. But if we set a timer and stuck to it, um, making a second to chill might make our jobs a little easier. Yeah, setting a timer is good. It helped before the pandemic. I definitely have files for that. So you're not suggesting procrastinating um, as much as taking a mental break? <laughs> That's going to involve a serious rebranding campaign. Well, discipline can help you with that. They work in my department. I'll introduce you. We just leave enough time to watch a short film or something. Like that one that became Napoleon Dynamite? Or that really old one with the train? The old one with the train. That's it! The arrival of a train is totally a realist movie. It was the first realist movie. We did it, that's the answer to our question. Oh, oh thank goodness. Oh. And submit. <laughs> now we've definitely earned a break. Great job, y'all. I better go. I'm not needed during break time, am I? No, you're all set. Just don't be too long. We have our psychology test tomorrow. There's another test tomorrow? 